Hey guys, quick video on the new Authenticine. This came out kind of recently and I don't, there is no training videos on uh, in Transaction Desk, I just realized. And so I thought I'd make one. Uh, so basically I'm at the point now where I've uploaded all my documents and form, I've created all my forms. And now I'm, I've clicked on the signings uh, link in the right hand column. And uh, so now I'm just gonna add a signing. And I have a weird account that Let's me toggle. I'm just going to do the new authentic sign and I'll name my file here. And it looks a little different when you get to this point, right? You have your documents, your participants. Uh, the probably best way to do this is add your participants first. So I'm going to go click on the down arrow, go add from transaction. I'll select myself. I've got to maybe if I've got to sign some documents and I'll select my favorite uh, fictitious buyer, dude man buyer. And then from here, I'm gonna add my documents or forms. And this is kind of different because you have to add them uh, separately. So I'll just go down here and click on the forms I want to add. And I'll go down here and add a document. Um, for good measure. So uh, I've got all of my people now it says, hey, who's the buyer and who's the selling agent? Well, I'm the selling agent. That's my buyer's already in there. And it, when I go assign signature blocks, it automatically put, puts the blocks in. Now these are all Washington forms. So for your Idaho people, I apologize. Um, uh, but, you know, I think you can still get the gist. So it puts in all of my initials and dates here, which is kind of cool. Now, if I go down, the one different thing is in the tools. They've changed just a little bit. So if I go to my tools menu in the right-hand side here, I still have my checkbox, right? So I can, my drag and drop stuff, I can still drag and drop a checkbox. Uh, checkbox. I can drag and drop my initials down on the line and it does do an auto date for you. And again, if I need to toggle between the two people, the signers, I can just toggle between the two there. Um, I'll go down to a form that needs some text on it and uh, show you how the text box works. So if I'm going to add text to a form, uh, I can just use the a markup tool down here, text box. If I click on it once, I don't click and drag, I just click on it once. And then I click on the line where I want the text box and boom, there it is. Now, from here, I need to move it onto the line. If I click on it, it'll give me an option to um, enter the text. I don't know what happened there. Try it again, uh, here we go. Um, so if I just click in that box, it worth water. Um, and let's say I need to extend this out. Um, if I click off of the box and then back on it, it'll give me this little square at the end here where you can see my, when I mouse over it, it gives me a pointer where I can just extend it out, make it as long as I need to make it. And, uh, you know, rinse and repeat, kind of do that per line. So I can also do bold, italic, transparent background or whatnot. Um, and that's it for the markup tool. Um, the other things that use, I think for the most part, it's just all the drag and drop stuff, which is pretty much the same as the old authentic sign. Uh, the text box is a little bit different uh, than, the old, um, than the old system, uh, but everything else, you know, if I drag out the signature down here, um, all of that's by and large the same. If I, if I wanted to delete the date, I can just click on it and then hit the trash can. Um, so pretty intuitive for the most part. So from there, once I'm done doing all my signatures and all my drag and drops, I can click next. And then you can set up to where it reminds the person every, you know, uh, uh, can remind every like two hours or whatever if it's if it's something that's 
critical or you have somebody who's maybe technically challenged uh, that doesn't hurt. Um, but for the most part here, I can just hit send. It'll send it off just like the old AuthentiSign and, uh, and alert you when it gets all executed and comes back on. So hope this was helpful. Uh, pretty intuitive. I think the main thing on this is adding the names first, the documents second, and then going to tools. That seems to be the quickest flow uh, for everything. And uh, yeah, so pretty easy. Hope this was helpful. Have a great uh, day and uh, we'll catch up with you next time.